<laughs> this is Optimus Prime, and you're listening to All Things Transformers with Steve Megatron and TFG1 Mike. Transform and roll out! Cybertron, our home. For generations, it has been a peaceful world. Until pride and a lust for power divided us. Now we fight enemies who were once our brothers. war to return us to glory the Autobots will never sacrifice freedom the Decepticons will bring this world to order our defeat would mean the end of everything my victory will mark a brilliant new beginning Things Transformers episode 38. I'm your host, Steve Megatron Phillips, and joining me as always is. If you want Mike, hello. Hello. How are you? Tired. <laughs> yes, we'll get to that once we get to Headshot. Um, as you know, as we said in episode 37, we're going to do some. It's mainly going to be discussion based. This episode's discussion is going to be on. What we've seen so far from Transformers War for Cybertron and our um, our opinions on what we've seen so far, what we've heard so far, and plus, you know, speculation on what, what else we're going to see in this. Uh, before we get to that, though, I did want to bring up, and I want to put a disclaimer here, that unlike last year and the two years prior to Revenge of the Fallen being released, I personally, me... I will report on major movie news. I will not report on every single fucking thing that comes out about the goddamn film. Transformers yeah, 3. <laughs> you know, because the oversaturation of Revenge of the Fallen just led a lot of fans to just fucking not care about the film. I like Revenge of the Fallen. It's... It's okay. Like I said in, in in previous discussions about it, it's one of those types of films that if you want to see giant devastator balls and huge fucking explosions, that's what you go for it. That's what you see it for. Um, but, you know, anyways, uh, TFW reports that the movie website Collider.com has posted up news stating that while other films are still in throes of development hell, Transformers 3 is proceeding nicely. They go on to say that Transformers 3 will begin filming in May of 2010, keeping the film on track for a planned July 2011 release. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, I do like the image. I don't, I don't, I don't know if you're on the, the TFW page here, but I do like the image that they have for this, and I, I know it's probably just a teaser image. It just says Transformers 3, but I do like... I, background look. Well, not well, the fact that they actually use, you know, two, three, whatever, because they didn't use they didn't use a numerical system with, oh, excuse me, with the second film, which you know, again, that's probably just a an image saying, hey, you know, this is the third, this is going to be the third film, but 
the reason why we're doing it this way is because we don't know if the actual subtitle or whatever else. So I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, our buddy, uh, our buddy Booth Ninja Michael Powers from Lunch Table. He asked me the other day. So what do you, you know? What do you think about all this Transformers stuff for the third film? And you know, hopefully Bay doesn't. Um, Hopefully Bade doesn't mess with uh, Orsi and Kurtzman. I, I had to shatter his dreams. I said, dude, you don't know. Orsi and Kurtzman left the freaking project. They're not even writing the third film. He goes, oh, boy, this is going to be hell. Yeah, they, <laughs> they kept on the other writer from yeah. uh, the, the movie that was kind of, uh, they were kind of just getting, or this guy was getting ideas from the two of them. Yeah. And the two of them are actually writing uh, Star Trek Two. Mm. Or Star Trek Twelve, <laughs> however you want to look at it. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so yeah, you know, again, uh, you know, I will not be taught if it's major news. If it's say like, you know, an official trailer comes out, or you know, if we're told about new casting or new characters, but. If it's, oh my god, movie 3 toy line coming soon, uh, no. I will not be talking about that crap. So, um, moving on, the discussion yes. today will be on Transformers War for Cybertron, the much-anticipated video game, uh, which I'm not sure if there's a release date for this yet. I don't know. Um, but damn, it looks good. Oh, hell yes, it does. Oh, my God. This game, you know, I, I posted the... I I found all the correct links on, on Game Informer, and I copied and pasted the information that you put in the listing on our forums, and I made a topic over at Earth2.net, the sh- uh, Earth, Earth2.net. Um, <laughs> one of the guys that replied to me about it, because I said, you know, in the, in the topic subheading of... Of the thread, I said this could very well be the best Transformers game ever. One of the one of the posters said, "Was there any competition before this?" <laughs> you know, just being kind of sarcastic. I'm like, "No, not really." But I mean, damn, it looks so good. Um, this is what they need to do with the third film, and I'm not. This is all I'm gonna say about this, but they need to adapt this game for the third film. Or something like this, because oh. holy crap! Yeah, I, I definitely would like it if it were this. Yeah. Um, have you uh, have you even seen the trailer yet? Oh yeah, I watched it the okay. day it came out. I think. Okay. All right. Um, the only thing I don't like is Megatron sounds like a very very sick Hugo Weaving, like the guy's dying or something. Not saying that that it is who... I don't actually know who it is that voices Megatron. I have no clue. I know it's not Welker. I know it's not Welker because Welker's Megatron does not sound like that. No. There's no raspiness to it. Um, but that's the only thing I don't like is 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 the voice from Megatron. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to say that too. That I just I didn't care for that either. Um, the visuals on it are awesome. Cybertron looks great. Uh, you know, and, and again, outside of the whole point of this story is is that this is before either faction goes to Earth. This is ba- basically take War Dawn from G One. And put it in this style is basically what it is. Yeah, I can see that. Um, I mean, that's just my personal opinion. I know it doesn't follow the same storyline as War the, as the episode War Dawn did, but I mean, it's pretty much you know certain number of years before they go to Earth. I, you know, I don't know the exact you know the exact date or timeline, but it's pre Earth. And, um, wow. Just, wow. Cybertron looks awesome, like I said. You know, they said even that, you know, there's... Yeah, it... Go ahead. 
I was going to say, it's got a shit ton of detail. It's just amazing how much uh, attention they've given mm -hmm. making Cybertron look as good as they possibly can. I mean, granted, just to blow it up again, but still, it, it's freaking awesome. Yeah, it is. Um, I believe it was last week or the week before. There was a special, it was like right after the new year, uh, there was a special GameInformer.com podcast where they were talking about this and everything else. They had um, a piece of the music from the game, and oh my god. The, you know, uh, this music, uh, this music clip, uh, you guys will actually hear it at the end of our episode, but wow, uh, it just sounds so fucking cool. Yeah, it, it is pretty neat. I, I wish they'd do like more of that style for say the next movie. Yeah. Um and again, you know, Peter Cullen returns as Optimus and yeah, holy crap. You know what would be really cool? I, I don't think that this would probably happen. They would probably use Mark Ryan or somebody, but you know what would be really cool is if they got Dan Gilvezan back as Bumblebee. I don't think it would work, though, in this. I don't know if... Because I know Dan likes, you know, comedic roles, and, and, and he is kind of a comedian. Um, but I think it would be really cool if Dan Gilvezan was Bumblebee. Yeah, that would be pretty neat to see him come back to it. Um, at first, you know, I, I, I didn't... Th I knew... I kind of knew in the back of my mind it was Bumblebee, but the model... For for him, he almost reminds me of Hotshot. It, yeah, but they've been trying to play that that one years. They've been what? Trying to play that one off, like make him look like Hotshot for years. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Um, you know, and the fact is that while you're doing the game, because it is we 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 should mention it is a third person shooter. Um, but while you're doing your stuff in the game, Cybertron is going to be static. Meaning that there's going to be shit going on in the background. Oh, yeah. That's... Calling, calling, uh... Energon. Energon, building shit. I mean, it's just going to be crazy. Yeah, it's going to be very, very crazy. Um, now the trailer that's out is only... It, it's part of the story. Now, I, from what I've heard, you have, you start out as the Decepticon campaign. Once you get through to that, you go to the Autobot campaign. Um, and uh, according to um, TFW's little news article that they posted on the 12th of January, the new Transformers War for Cybertron trailer has gone up on IGN. This awesome two-minute-long trailer does not show any in-game footage yet, but provides a lead into the game story, giving us a first glimpses of Megatron with Energon Mace, uh, Bumblebee, Omega Supreme, and Starscream in action, as well as extended footage of Optimus Prime. Those who have uh, been following the various podcasts and interviews might remember the promise that certain characters who have not been used since Generation 1 will get some love and attention this time around. And the trailer delivers with the return of the Decepticon mobile battle base, Trypticon. Um, while the trailer doesn't... Sh it shows him... It doesn't show him for very long. Yeah, it, it really doesn't give much detail. Exactly. But it's just a trailer, so... Yeah, no. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm not complaining, but I just want to let everybody know it isn't like you're going to get a full-on shot of Trypticon for like, like a you know, you know, 45 seconds. I mean, it it, it shows him and it shows him blasting something. Um, but yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm like just yeah. I cannot wait for this game. No, I can't either. I would definitely pick this up, provided it plays on my uh, PC. Yeah. I uh, I dare say this would be the next Arkham Asylum, because I've heard a whole bunch of good stuff about Batman Arkham Asylum, 
and I've seen the movie trailer, not the movie trailer, but the um, the game trailers for that and the in-game play action for that, and wow, that game looks awesome as hell. This game could give it a run run for its money. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I, I mean, you know, I know that over the years we have not, as Transformers fans, we have not had a lot of good video games for Transformers. Shit, we haven't really had any good games besides the Armada one. Yeah, yeah. Um... You know, and as we've said before on this show, the only issue that both either one of us have with the movie games is the fucking time constraints. I hope to God there are no time constraints in this game. No, because that that would definitely make it uh, a complete crap edition. Yes. Um, do you have any other thoughts on this? I'd be interested to see the rest of the uh, Autobot Decepticons and uh, hear their voicings for them. Yeah, I you know I I believe it was said they were trying to go after um, a lot of the original voice actors. So like I said before, it'd be nice to see Dan Gilvezan do Bumblebee, but I don't know how his approach to Bumblebee's voice would fit into this game. Yeah, I I don't know how he would portray it anyway, but I know that they said that they at least have. I mean, you here and in there, uh, Peter Cullen. Yeah, yeah, Peter Cullen is back. Um, you know, honestly, what I would like to see is a less cartoony version voice of Starscream from Animated. Take Tom Kenny and put him... Honestly, Tom Kenny, if you take the comedic part out of Starscream and just... You, Make him just dark as hell. Well... Remember in the beginning of Animated how dark he was trying to plot to get rid of Megatron and he wasn't that comedic or, or cartoony? Use that part for, for this because honestly, who the hell can really, not replace, but who the hell can really reincarnate Chris Lotta's voice for the G1 Starscream? Not a lot of people can. Kenny is very, he's not, he's, he's doing his own thing. He was doing his own thing in Animated, but, um, it's damn close. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, so I, I would like to see him voice Starscream again. You know, we're, you know, we're just speculating because we've only seen this this two-minute trailer, but... Uh, holy crap. It, it just... Yeah, I, I haven't been this excited for, for a trans, anything Transformers uh, in, in, in a few months because, wow, this looks just awesome. Yeah, well, I haven't been excited since before the second movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, and I don't mind the fact that they have taken somewhat of of liberties with Optimus, either. I mean, granted, you got Cullen voicing him, which is awesome. But as far as the design of, of Optimus Prime himself, I mean, they are on Cybertron, for Christ's sake. You're not going to see a, 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 a flat-nosed... Uh, tractor trailer cab so oh well, no that's an earth vehicle yeah i know i know that's what i'm saying so i don't mind the way his his alternate mode looks at all i actually kind of like it i think it's kind of cool and i love the fact that they oh sorry go ahead i was going to say it's still better than that uh vehicle mode they gave him at the beginning of the uh g1 marvel comics yeah yeah um I also like the fact that they kind of, kind of harken back to animated a little bit, because they gave him an axe. That's cool. That I want that axe. That axe looks awesome. Just makes him seem a little bit more menacing than just with the ion cannon. See, the thing is, I think no, I I don't know. You know, I I I, I don't know if it's Peter Cullen saying, you know, hey guys, this is my opinion on. You know, he, even though Peter was G1 Optimus and still is, and he always will be the the, the real voice of Optimus Prime. Um, not to say that David K. and any of the other people that have done him ha- haven't done him justice in what they've played him in, but uh, Cullen will always be Prime. Oh, yeah. But I don't know if, if he was allowed to voice his opinions on how the character should be or whatever... Um, we all know Movie Prime is a very vicious Prime. He's not 
He's no John Wayne, <laughs> like like Peter did him in uh, in, in G One. Um, so I'm wondering if this is going to be the more violent crime, or this is going to be the kind of laid back, you know, do it when you have to do it type of Optimus. Yeah. I I wouldn't mind if it was either way, honestly. No. Because because really, I like the in your face Optimus from Revenge of the Fallen. I I did I dug that. That was kind of cool because it was something we would never see. Uh, you know. At the time, you know, I mean, it's something that we haven't really seen before, as far as I know. Yeah, I didn't mind that about Prime in this this last movie. Uh, I just didn't like how they killed him off just to bring him back again. Well, you know, it all goes back to, you know, the Matrix being a plot device. That's, you know, they basically took the same cue from the 86 movie and just put Sam in there instead of Hot Rod. But, you know, anyways, um, but I, I can't wait to see gameplay for this. Uh, th- this trailer, as I said before, is just like the beginning part of the story, like an opening cinematic of, of the game. Uh, I hope gameplay is, it just looks just like this. I don't know if that's possible, but uh, I hope it is. Although it probably won't be, it'll be damn close. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's so much they can do in, in video games these days, so... You would think that they could get somewhat, you know, pretty damn close to it. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, and since this is all things Transformers, I would like to announce that the other day, Mr. Wilson, our other co-host, uh, Michael Wilson from ToyCast and Beast Unleashed, Finally sent me my monkey. <laughs> but along with my monkey, he he sent me a whole bunch of other stuff um, that were just uh, one, just Transformers figures he didn't want anymore. So I have like a whole box full of, of just old figures. I have a, uh, uh, I think, no, it's not Cybertron. It's uh, Armada Hotshot and... Uh, uh, Beast, uh, Beast Wars, Transmetals, Air Razor, um, yeah, just a whole bunch of stuff. So thank you, Michael. I, ma- I made a video of that and I put it on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, Optimal Optimus is awesome. I love that toy. That toy is. Yeah, so- I. That's one of the few I do like of Optimus. Well, I like all the Beast Wars ones, but. Well, that technically was a Beast Wars one. Oh, I know. I was. I meant. I didn't like the Beast Machines. Oh, yeah, no. The, uh, uh, honestly, I I see what they were going for be, as far as the story. And again, we will get to this once we get to Beast Machines in, uh, in Beast Unleashed. But I, I didn't, I like the robot mode in the cartoon. That, that monkey, that was one fucking ugly monkey. Oh, I could, I didn't mind the monkey, it was the robot mode. See, I liked the robot mode, and I didn't like the monkey mode that they used. I always liked him having the prime head. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, I mean, I can agree with that, but... And he lost it in Beast Machines. Yeah, I know. But, you know, what are you going to do? Anyway, um... Yeah, so Transformers War for Cybertron. I don't think there's been a release date announced about this, but... Uh, Christ, they are like flashing forward with this already. I mean, they're just going full speed at it. Hell, we've already got a trailer. We'll probably see more footage over the next couple of weeks. Uh, I I don't know. Again, I'm not sure if there is a release date, but if there is, it's probably going to be sometime this year. Probably end of summer. But end of summer, you'll probably see a November release. Yeah. That's just a... Uh guesstimate. Yeah. So do we have anything else we would like to talk about here on All Things Transformers? Uh, no, I think uh, we'll just cut it short instead of mumbling on for about a half hour. Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll just definitely keep you posted on All Things Transformers as well as uh, All Things on War for Cybertron. Yes. Um, so, yeah, close it out, buddy. Alrighty, visit the site uh, at keepcastradio.com. 
criticonempire.com slash nexus for the forums and uh, you'll find all your awesome information there and other downloads especially to our uh, uh, interviews with uh, David Kay and Gary Chalk so visit the sites leave us some feedback on iTunes as well as in the emails and voicemail line and I guess for now this is Steve Megatron signing off this is TFU and Mike. See you later.